Assalamu alaikum and hello. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use a combination of ChatGPT, PowerPoint, and Canva to transform, to transform a presentation in PowerPoint like this. As you can see, just a plain presentation with text and how to transform this into something like this in Canva. So a plain PowerPoint presentation with text only, we bring into Canva and transform into this. Let me show you how to do this easily. So we start off with ChatGPT and um, this probably work well in ChatGPT 4.0. So if you are on the free plan, make sure you have you still have the quota to uh, use this technique. Yeah. Now, when you use ChatGPT to create the content of your PowerPoint presentation, don't just straight away put a prompt, create uh, an outline, or create a PowerPoint presentation with this title. If you use this method, most likely the content that you will get is not really uh, details. It just give you, ChatGPT will just give you the outline and then there's no detail for, for the content. A better technique is create the content first. So this is an example and this is just a simple prompt. You can actually put in more information here. So the trick is create a blog, ask ChatGPT to create a blog post. So blog usually will have more content. Create a blog post and put a title, in this case, how to foster emotional resilience in college students, a guide for parents and educators. You might want to put more information, for example, what's the target audience, how many number of slides, um, whatever information that you think relevant in the prompt. But for this example, I just give a simple prompt but most importantly, we ask ChatGPT to create a blog post or write an article so that we have more content. So ChatGPT will create the article or the blog post. So you can see uh, there's a lot of content here until here. Now, the next prompt. So there are two steps. First, we ask ChatGPT to create the blog post. Second step, then this is important part or important step here. Use this prompt. Please convert this content to a well formatted, downloadable PPT or PowerPoint presentation file. And then ChatGPT will does the magic. The you can see here. The PowerPoint presentation has been created and is available for download. You can download it using the link below. So this is a one. So when you click this, we'll open this presentation inside PowerPoint and this is how it looks like. Just a plain text and number of slides is determined by ChatGPT because we don't specify the number of slides in our prompt. And you notice that the aspect ratio or the dimension here is 4, 3, 4, 3 dimension, which is the old style of uh, PowerPoint. So what you need to do, and this is also important step here, go to design, go to design tab here, more menu, and then you find here slide size, change to white screen, 16, 9 ratio, like so. And then save it. Then you go to Canva. So let me uh, start a new file here. Create design. And then down here, you can see import file. So click import file. So you find the file and this one. Double click. And then Canva will import the PowerPoint or open the PowerPoint in Canva and then uh, you can see here so you can click this to open 
and then you can see the file already open still plain text white background and the text and this is uh, the interesting part here um, make sure now you are in the design uh, tab here and then so you are in the design section that you can see template layout and style okay what you want here of course uh, there are a lot of templates here but you cannot directly apply the template i, I wish this is something that canva probably can consider in the future meaning that we can apply the template and will change all the slides according to the template but what you can do here you go to layout and then we can change the layout of each slide uh, one by one so for example here you can see the first slide so you have uh, the choice of, of of different layout here so you can scroll down and find the one that you like let's say yeah yes many option here let's say i will uh, take this one and then um, it will ask you add suggested layout as a new page and if you click as a new page it will add that layout as a new slide um, we can do that also but in this case i want to replace the current the current page or the current slide with the same content and apply the layout so replace current page and you can see the magic happen here so you have the text here how to post the emotional resilience in college students the picture of course the picture as usual you can um, find other pictures if you don't like it you can find and change uh, the pictures okay so let's go back to layout then you go to the next slide so you have to do this one by one um, okay so you might want to clean up the text uh, a bit here for example here you can see the two bullet point here so whether you clean up the text in powerpoint before you import into canva or you can clean up here it doesn't matter okay so now it looks okay now look at the layout section here again you can change the, the layout find the one that you like now maybe this one replace current page then you can adjust of course change the font adjust the size and so on and you can do that for each slide here maybe this one choose this and again you can delete uh, you can uh, ed you can edit whatever um, necessary that you want to change on the slide okay and you can do that one by one for each of the slide here maybe this one and so on so you get the idea from uh, from chat gpt two steps the first step ask chat gpt to write a blog post or article on the topic uh, and put uh, some information that you think necessary then chat gpt will create the content what you want is the content okay then second step use this prompt please convert this content to a well formatted downloadable ppt presentation file and then it will give you the link to open this in powerpoint then remember just now uh, when we import this the aspect ratio is 4 3 then what we need to do go to design and then change from 4 to 3 to 16 9 and then in canva import into canva then go to design layout and change the layout for each slide and edit edit the content or the text as necessary okay so that's all for this video i hope this uh, you will find this useful and you can apply it this as uh, another method to use a combo or combination of ChatGPT, powerpoint and canva to create a good 
presentation, good looking uh, PowerPoint presentation. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you and bye-bye.